Today I'm going to show you how to crack open an RTX 5090 gaming trio. For if you need to replace your thermal pads and thermal paste or install a water block for your custom loop. Make sure you have a screw tray for organizing so you can keep track of your hardware. Okay, the first thing I do is take out the IO bracket in the back. There are four screws, two on top and two in the back. You may also want to keep the two on top from the backplate separate because they are longer and a different thread size. Up next is your backplate. You have a total of seven screws, but since two of them have already been removed as they also secure the IO bracket, you have five left. You'll also notice a factory seal sticker on one of the screws here. Don't worry about this, breaking the seal does not void your warranty. Proceed with removing all the remaining screws. Once you remove your backplate, you'll see two thermal pads. One of them is for the backside of the GPU die and the other is for the 16 pin power connector. Go ahead and set your backplate off to the side for now. Next is removing your PCB off the cooler itself. There are a total of 10 screws to undo, six around the PCB and four for the retention bracket near the GPU die. Go ahead and undo all of these, and there is no particular order for them. Once all 10 screws have been removed, along with the retention bracket, now you must slowly apply an upward pressure to remove the PCB off the cooler. You'll definitely feel some resistance from the thermal pads and thermal paste between these two layers. Now you'll also notice there are five cables attached to the PCB. These are basically for the fans and RGB on your cooler. You'll need to disconnect them carefully as well. At this stage, you may want to take a picture of where all your thermal pads are on the cold plate or heatsink and or the PCB, whichever side they are stuck to. This way you can refer back to it when you need to replace your thermal pads. Typically, it's going to be your VRAM and VRMs that will need the pads. So there you have it, access to the PCB for cleaning or water block installation. And that's how you tear down an RTX 5090 gaming trio. If you have an RTX 5080 gaming trio, the air cooler should be very similar if not exactly the same.